So here comes Saul Alvarez, nicknamed Canelo, which translates to cinnamon. He got that nickname because of the freckles on his face and the color of his hair. Kell Brook, the former welterweight champion of the world, fighting out of Sheffield, England. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. The fighters are ready to go. Let's hear the official introductions. We turn it over to the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner. Introducing from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. At 20 years of age, he is undefeated at 36 wins, no losses, one draw with 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the young undefeated world contender, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Fighting out of the blue corner, introducing the former British welterweight champion from Sheffield, England. Here is the former welterweight champion of the world, Kel Special K. Brook. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. Close the door, close the curtains. This is it. Let me enjoy myself right now. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. And there's the bell to start the round. No defense for that hook. He wanted action, and they are delivering. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. We have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this. They love this. They are born for this. And you have other fighters where this will be like the rabbit in the headlines. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. and shoot. Fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one's there to do anything out of turn. Back and forth they go. Mel Brook may need to take a knee here. <clears throat> It's a one-hitter quitter. What a knockout shot. Let's take another look. Where did that come from? What a shot. One, two, three, four. Come to me. The referee deems they can continue, but this might be a big mistake. Resilience. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. That counter shot lands. Let's talk about Brook in that last round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action.
We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. The reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little twitch you do. So you've got to fight a counter puncher smart. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. No rest for the weary. That left hook misses. Nope, that hook won't score. is not an option for these two. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. Wow, it was like two different leagues. the bell and here we go after that last round something has got to change this is one of those situations you've just been hurt you've got to get out there again be smart be sharp don't be a fool don't get suckered in make him fight your fight hold him tie him up just until the head plays again and your legs come back again because if you don't he's gonna pop you off and he scores with the counter They exchange punches. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Hard, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. Are we about to see Kell Brook go down? been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What do they do? What do they tell him when he goes back to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Those who thought this would be a code red for Kell Brook. <laughs> Big shot and Kell Brook is on the canvas. They knew it when they threw it. The perfect body shot and no one's standing up to that. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? back on his feet but right now the corner's got to think about throwing in the towel some fighters when this happens this can be heartbreaking some fighters it makes them angry they want to get back into the mix of gonna... Canelo Alvarez just got rocked in a big way a high tempo show let's talk about brook in that last round what a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown to make or break a fighter they 
ring the bell, and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Caution is being thrown to the wind. Jab misses. <laughs> Only catching air with that hook. <laughs> gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. A straight right just misses. You've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. But he can't get him out of there. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. They need to be careful they don't punch themselves out here. punch himself out though despite what the judges scorecards read there are no losers in this are we about to see Kell Brook go down they've got the momentum they've got the advantage how do they carry that into the next round dominance without a doubt made look so so easy for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Now Brook may need to take a knee here. As he survived the storm, he's throwing punches again. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to go to bed for Kell Brook. Special one goes to the canvas. He caught him with that body shot, and it throws him in his tracks. Look at this again. I need to see that again. Congratulations. A knockout victory. That is Todd. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot. 